Welcome back to the Electrical Building Design Show. A theme on this channel has been the relationship between electrical engineering and BIM and how electrical engineers are often forgotten in the discussions of BIM. I want to take a moment and talk about another discipline that is even more forgotten than electrical engineers, and that's fire alarm design. The specific challenges for fire alarm design do not come up when people are talking about BIM. I want to share with you a positive vision for BIM specific to fire alarm designers. How you could use BIM for fire alarm design and make that whole process better. The framework I want to use for thinking about fire alarm design with BIM is the fire alarm design quadrant. We have four boxes. The first is the 3D model. Then we have the riser diagram and the calculations and the operations matrix. You put these four together and you have BIM that's going to be useful for fire alarm design. When you are working on your fire alarm design, you want to make sure that a change in one of these boxes flows to all of the others. If you change the name of a panel, that's going to have to be updated on the 3D model and on your floor plans. That's going to need to be updated on the riser diagram. That's going to be need to be updated in your calculations. For the 3D model, I'm really thinking about both the 3D model and also the floor plans that you have to produce. Realistically, we're talking about Revit for this part of the design. I know that BIM is larger than Revit, and for architects, they've got a lot of different options. They could be using ARCHICAD or Vectorworks or Allplan or any of the other architectural modeling packages that exist. When you start getting into systems design and specifically fire alarm, they just don't have a whole lot of features. So if you're going to be doing any 3D modeling, it's going to be done in Revit. The riser is a representation of what you're doing on the plan view just as a diagram. That needs to be integrated with what you are doing on the floor plan in your 3D model. For calculations, you're generally thinking about voltage drop and battery calcs. Those are the two calculations that you need at the design stage to hand to the plan reviewer to get your permits. The operations matrix or input output matrix or whatever you call it in your designs is the list of all of the devices that provide inputs to the fire alarm system and then all of the outputs that can happen. The list of inputs and outputs for your system is a function of the specific devices that you are inserting in the design that you're doing. If you add a device in your 3D model, you need to make sure that it shows up in 3D obviously and also on the floor plan. That needs to be added to the riser that needs to be included in the calculations that you're doing. And then on your operations matrix, if it's a new type of device, you might need to add another row or column to represent that new device that you've inserted. Done properly, if all four of these quadrants are working together, that's going to be immediately helpful to you as a fire alarm designer, independent of what anyone else is doing in the project. Part of BIM is collaboration and you want to be able to work with other people, but you also want to make sure that it's actually helping you in your specific design. You have the 3D model as part of the fire alarm design quadrant, so you can participate in those 3D coordination discussions that are happening with the other disciplines. But that 3D modeling is not really the important part of BIM for you as a fire alarm designer. So when you're thinking about BIM, you want to be able to participate in the 3D modeling, but you also want to have all of these other pieces that are actually helpful to you in your design available. That's a nice framework, but the reality of BIM is that it has to be implemented in software by software developers. That's what my company, Design Master Software, is doing with FireBIM. We're taking the 3D model that you can get from Revit and integrating it with the other boxes of the fire alarm design quadrant. The goal with our software is to pull all of those pieces together so you actually have BIM software for fire alarm design that is helpful to you directly as the fire alarm designer. Check out our website, designmaster.biz, to learn more about FireBIM and see how we are implementing this fire alarm design quadrant and software that you can use today on your projects.